Yeah, you know, Molana, it is, it is sad. I mean, there are great people in the past who have lost their lives due to uh, assassination, shahadat, different circumstances. This has happened from the very inception of our religion. Hazrat Usman radiallahu ta'ala was martyred uh, within, right? And of course, there were munafiks who did it. Hazrat Talha radiallahu ta'ala, Hazrat Zubair radiallahu ta'ala. And throughout history, we find that this has been the situation. Even in Abu Hanifa rahmatullahi, it is mentioned that uh, he he passed away because of being poisoned. Right? So in recent times, many of the ulama in Pakistan, uh, our Sheikh al-Hadith in um, Jamia al-Ulum al-Islamia, Binuri Town, Mufti Nizamuddin Shamzi, the principal, uh, Morana Habibullah Mukhtar. So many people have passed away by... Uh, assassinations and of course they have received shahadat and all of that has been done by hypocrites, munafiks, uh, enemies of the Islamic cause. So this is something that we learn to uh, understand that we are in this world, we have to live one day. Uh, there is no doubt we have to live. Uh, you know that we we, we are living. We only one of the the visas of life is that you are going to die. One of the guarantees of life is you come into this world to leave this world. There is no one who came in this world uh, who is going to live forever. There is no human being who has lived for eternity. Khalidun. O Prophet of Almighty Allah, if you are going to leave this world, who is going to live forever? So we, we all know that. And if a person dies with shahadat, there is no greater death. Do not call those who pass away in the path of Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as dead. They are alive. But you cannot understand and fathom their uh, they life. Allah has given them life. Even after they shahadat, even after they passing away, they are alive. And this is the reality with regard to shahadat. Obviously, from our point of view, we do feel sad. We see it, what's happening. Apparently, things... Uh, are not going the way uh, of uh, the Muslims, there is difficulties, there is challenges. But one thing we must remember, Mulan, I think it's important for us to keep this in mind, is that uh, uh, we must never get despondent. You know, uh, when we, uh, worldly success or worldly victory is not a barometer for ultimate success. I mean, that, that is why we have the Akhirat. Uh, Hazrat Umar radiallahu ta'ala came in the room of Nabiya Karim sallallahu He saw him on an ordinary mat of strings. There was absolutely nothing in it. Like, you know, normally we have a mat. It is made of, um, you, know, you know, Persian mat or a mat from Pakistan that there is fiber in it or it is soft. There was a mat that was made with pure strings. There was nothing in it. And the imprint was clearly visible on the body of Nabi Karim Sawasram, a strong person like Umar started crying. And, uh, and he said, Ya Rasulullah, make dua that Allah Ta'ala give tawassu. Allah Ta'ala give more wealth and ease to the Ummah, the Ahle Faris, and the Ahle Rum, who do not even believe in Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. Look at their way of living. They have wealth and they have everything. <clears throat> we do not have any of these things. Ya Rasulullah, make dua. So Nabi Karim Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Anta Ibn Khattab, Ibn Khattab, are you saying these things? You know, I, I would have expected uh, this from someone else, not from you, O Ibn Khattab. <clears throat> and then Nabi Karim, and of course, Ibn Khattab radiallahu anhu saw, said these things because of his personal love for Nabi Karim Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And he couldn't bear this, and he saw this. And Nabi Karim Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, you know, told him that uh, these are the people that Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala is hasten whatever good they want to give them here in this world and for them there is nothing in the year after. And in one rewire he said, for them is in this world, for us is in the year after. So when we see these type of things, we should never get despondent. We should always continue because Allah Ta'ala will reward on our effort, not on our success or otherwise. And I think that is important for us to understand in the context of this when we do feel slightly hurt or a sense of disappointment comes into us, we need to have a perspective about it.